Alright guys, so today I thought I would just give Sandy's cage a little clean out because it's got like little bits of food in there and things that it shouldn't have so we're just going to go along, sift all the dirt, put it into the bin and put Sandy in this little shoebox that has holes on the top so she can breathe and uh, let's get right into it. So first things first is I'm going to pull Sandy out. Sup Sandy. Um, as you guys can tell, she shedded the underneath of her body there, um, just waiting on her tail to be shedded. I said in probably three or four videos ago that um, I used that shed mist to help her shed her skin. Um, she started to shed and later in the video you will see me spray that on her again. Um, and then I'll pull out Rusty in a minute and I'll show you guys him. Just a reminder, the mic is broken so we're not using it, so it might sound a bit different. Yeah, it might sound a bit poor quality, so please do not have a go at me for it. I am ordering a new mic in. So The new mic should be here next week sometime. Um, those will be need to be replaced because they're old veggies. Use your fingers. Alright, I'll go get her some veggies now. Alright guys, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull everything out of Sandy's cage while Kate is going to get the veggies. And then once that's all done, I'll come back and I'll show you what I've done. Hmm. Alright, so basically all I'm doing is I'm going along with like this little sifter thing. And I'm just taking a big scoop of it and sifting all the bad dirt and the clumps of dirt out the weeds and poos and as you can tell we got all bits of food in there and Christ knows what it can and get and I just did out. some fresh veggies and basically all this does is help it last longer longer um, without having to replace the dirt yeah so why Kate was doing the veggies and that I was in here getting most of it done. Um, so you pulled everything out over there? I did pull everything out, yes, and just making sure that there's no shit parts of dirt in there. Monkey. Basically now, all I'm doing is just moving the sand around to feel if there's any, like, bits of food. And if there is, I'm just going to pull it out, bit by bit, and slowly come to get in it so it's fresh again. Look how nice it looks. It's like nice desert dirt. Yeah. Alright, so now that I've done that, I know that there's no sort of food in your dump in there. All I'm going to do now, oh. Kitty. Old mealworms like this need to go. Now what I'll do is I'll start to redesign it and we're going to speed that process up too and I'll see you guys. Afterwards, when I'm picking up Rusty, my, um, snake, my monkey.
spicy meatball. The more fear we can, the more fun. So now we're going to have a basically a proper look of how Sandy Cage looked. So once upon a time this was over here and all this was over there including that was over there as well. Apart from the water bowls. So it's sort of better for her. Um, now the process of just pulling Sandy out and uh, putting her back in her new improved cage. There you go Sandy. And now it's time just to get rid of all this shit, which is quite gross. Um, anyways, we're gonna... Alright, so basically, if you have a look at Sandy's cage, there's that stick in there. What I want to do is I want to get a stick that goes from this side to over to this side for my, um, for Rusty. Only because they like to climb... They're arboreal snakes, they like to climb. But we're gonna pull her out and uh, we'll pull him out. And um, I'll give you guys a proper look at him. Oops. Careful. Just let him know I'm coming in. That was just stupid. <laughs> Alright, so. I like to pick this up like this because of course he's gonna be ready to strike at any minute. Yep, there it is. There he is. There he is. Alright. Alright, Rusty, 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 Rusty. Settle down. Settle down. Um of course he's striking at everything that comes near him. Um he's gonna strike again sooner or later. But once I get a hold of him. And he knows it. That I'm going to try. Okay, this is the best way to do it. Forget. <laughs> there you go. There he is. All right. So Rusty had a bit of food yesterday. He had a um, pinky rat. He's just under a meter. He's. Yeah, not too big at this point. 60 He'll centimetres. Grow. Yeah, he's about 60 centimetres um, from what we know and from what we measured of him. Um, he is very, very good. He just likes to strike at me a lot and likes to try and constrict and he's trying to bite again, which I don't like. Can you unwrap that tail, bro? Um, Kitty loves it. Kitty seems to like it, but what we're going to do is we're going to take him outside for a little bit and we're going to see how he goes outside. When I say I'm going to go outside with him for a little bit, I don't mean that like I'm going to let him go. I mean like we are just going to take him outside so he can have a little slither around and uh... Whoa! <laughs> Holy! Okay, we're gonna cut that and we're gonna put that in slow motion so you guys can see that strike. So, um, yeah, we're gonna take him outside and uh, let him have a little wander around. Um, so, yeah, by the way, guys, I'm gonna say this now. This sort of animal that I'm playing with right now, he loves you guys. He loves you. Um, this sort of animal I'm playing with right now, please do not go and attempt what I'm doing right now. This is a very, very wild species. As much as he's been held captive, he is still wild. So if you guys see something like this out in the wild, do not go and attempt to pick it up. Um, 
I wouldn't even recommend trying to pick up a bearded dragon for God's sakes in the wild because these species when they're wild they are very very um, prone to either envenomating you or you know constricting so this dude has been held captive his whole life he was bought from a pair shop same with Sandy alrighty let's take him outside alright guys so we are outside with the rusty the coastal carp or python um, as you guys can tell I've got my snake hook here that's if it gets out of control and I cannot deal with him so I'm just going to put him down and let him have a run around basically I will be here at all times watching him making sure he doesn't go for Kate or doesn't go for my my little my little tootsies um, He's a very gorgeous snake, but very still much a pain in the ass to deal with. Um, I'm not game enough to touch him on the head, like boop, boop, boop. But he's very much a good snake. He doesn't go too far. He doesn't run too fast. Hey, watch out. Alright, come back over this way, boy. Back over this way. So hot out here today. So as you guys can see, his coloration is actually magnificent. It is a beautiful coloration. Um, but he is, once again guys, he is a bowing constrictor. He can kill you with one constriction. So if you guys find a bigger snake than this, please do not go to attempt to pick it up in the wild. It will be at your own risk if you do it. Because I will say, see that? He's constricting my pole right now. I'm glad that is not my hand. Whee! He's trying to climb up and get my fingers, I swear. Alright boy, you need to come back down this way. So you can see the coloration on him right there. Um, very beautiful snake. He's coming over to say hello again. He just loves you. <laughs> he loves the camera. Um, but yeah, this is Rusty. I haven't really done a full detailed video on him yet. Um, he's an arboreal carp python, which means they like to climb and they're very good tree climbers as you can see he uses his tail to hold on and um, just climbs all the way along my stick into my fingers or to my fingers I should say um, and then he'll grip on with his tail around my finger and that's how they strike in the wild which then they can climb back up their body and keep on moving on for their day Zoom. The coloration of this dude, I can't believe the coloration. Don't go for my fingers, stay away from them. And you don't need to try to wrap around everything you get a hold of, mate. Um, so, yeah, their tail is a very good holding stick for them. They like to wrap around tree branches, they're very good tree climbers, they're very good swimmers. And uh, yeah, let's take him back inside and. Uh, Put him back in his enclosure and um, and obviously today when I go inside I will end the video. Um, I'm going to keep it short, sharp and shiny. I know I've been doing 11 minutes, just over 11 minute videos the past week. Um, so we're going to go back inside and then we're going to end it with this dude in my hands. So the hardest part of getting a Boeing constrictor to go back in their cage is they grip on with their head like this and that's how do you want to let go mate? thank you no 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 stop being a oh. <laughs> he's just not letting go alright well we're going to put him back um, this is Rusty my name is Josh that is Sandy, and uh, that's the turtles. And this is the end of the video. Thanks, dude. Go down and get the fuck off my stick, bro. Stop swearing. Get off. Thank you. 
Alright guys, we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Ready? Here we go. We're putting him back in. There you go, boy. Go. Go in your house.